Karl Eichmann is accused hereby. First count, nature of offense, crime against the Jewish people, an offense under section 1A1 of the Nazis and Nazi collaborators punishment law 57 particulars of offense. The accused together with others in the room where Eichmann's trial took place, no ghost wanders. It is here, according to Israeli law against Nazis and Nazi collaborators, that Adolf Eichmann was condemned to death on December 15, 1961, for crimes against the Jewish people and crimes against humanity. עדיין היינו אומרים שאדם אשר השתתף בפשעים בממדים כאלה במשך שנים חייב לשאת בעונש הגדול ביותר הידוע לחוק. בית משפט זה דן את אדולף אייטמן למיטה. The Court of Appeals confirms the sentence on May 29, 1962. Although there is national consensus, some discordant voices can be heard. On May 30th, a group of intellectuals, some of whom are survivors of the Holocaust, sends a petition to the president, Itzhak Benzvi. We're not pleading for his life. No man is less worthy of mercy than he. We do not come to you requesting to pardon him. We are asking for you to commute this sentence on behalf of our country and our people. It is our considered opinion that the execution of Eichmann will demean the stature of the Holocaust and distort the historic and moral significance of this trial. Let us not lend our hand to this, and let us not risk creating the impression that sending this evil man to the gallows could compensate for extermination of six million. This is the punishment you give to those murderers. You caught one of them 30 years after. I mean, isn't that a little bit too late and too little? Um, it's a kind of a mockery of the whole idea of retribution. And it, it doesn't also serve as a symbolic feature of it. It's, it's not a symbol, right? It doesn't stand for the rest of them because there is no symbolic relationship here being established. 